In this lesson, you will learn how to find the coordinates of a point on a coordinate plane. As a quick recap, a coordinate plane is made up of a horizontal number line called the x-axis and a vertical number line called the y-axis. Therefore, the coordinates of any point consist of an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Remember, the first number is always the x-coordinate and the second number is always the y-coordinate. To find the coordinates of a point, first, move vertically from the point to the x-axis to find its x-coordinate. Then, move horizontally from the point to the y-axis to find its y-coordinate. Let's see how this works with our examples. To find the coordinates of point A, first, move vertically to the x-axis to find its x-coordinate, which is 3. Then, move horizontally to the y-axis to find its y-coordinate, which is 2. Therefore, the coordinates of point A are 3, 2. Remember, when you write the coordinates, the first number should be the x-coordinate and the second number should be the y-coordinate. To find the coordinates of point B, first, move vertically to the x-axis to find its x-coordinate, which is negative 2. Then, move horizontally to the y-axis to find its y-coordinate, which is negative 4. Therefore, the coordinates of point B are negative 2, comma negative 4. Now please pause the video and find the coordinates of point C. First, move vertically to the x-axis to find its x-coordinate, which is negative 5. Then, move horizontally to the y-axis to find its y-coordinate, which is 5. So, the coordinates of point C are negative 5, 5. What are the coordinates of point D? Give it a try. First, move vertically to the x-axis to find its x-coordinate, which is 1. Then, move horizontally to the y-axis to find its y-coordinate, which is negative 5. So, the coordinates of point D are 1, negative 5. Next, we have point E. It is on the x-axis at x equals negative 3. So, its x-coordinate is negative 3. Note that since the x-axis is at y equals 0, any point on the x-axis has a y-coordinate of 0. So, the y-coordinate of point E is 0. Therefore, its coordinates are negative 3, 0. Please feel free to pause the video and find the coordinates of point F. It is on the y-axis at y equals 4. So, its y-coordinate is 4. Note that since the y-axis is at x equals 0, any point on the y-axis has an x-coordinate of 0. So, the x-coordinate of point F is 0. Therefore, its coordinates are 0, 4. In general, if a point lies on the x-axis, its y-coordinate is 0. If a point lies on the y-axis, its x-coordinate is 0. If a point lies where the x and y-axis intersect, which is the origin, both its x and y coordinates are zero. Therefore, the coordinates of point G are zero, comma zero. Now that you understand how to find the coordinates of a point, next we will move on to how to identify the quadrant of a point. You can find the link in the description below. See you there.